then, uh, duh, 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 I th believe then I go to the wreck ship. Oh, who cares about the energy? I wanna get down there and shoot this guy. There we go. Now I don't have to wait for him on the second round. Nope! Stand up better. Should've angled up. Anyone at home watching? Don't do what I'm doing. I'm setting you up for failure. Uh, speaking of failure, I wasn't sure if I should slap my dad earlier without um and hoping that he doesn't slap me back and then murder me. Um, for just popping out of nowhere behind a door and yelling epic fail. I got scared for a moment, and I was sad. Where would he pick up terminology like that? I don't know. My, um, my now, uh, cousin, from my aunt's something marriage, um, he's like four years old and he says things. Let's see, yeah, it's down here. Okay, now I feel silly for not doing angle down. <laughs> Shut you. up! I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I'm a professional baking himself alive. Just like that pizza I made. I love the name of those dragon enemies. What, are, what is dragon? That, that's not very creative. Because you know, Metroid is such a morally creative. And I forgot where I was going. With this. <laughs> it is a creative game, yes, but uh, some of the names for things are not creative. Like, what happens when I press down twice? Mari Mari? Yes. Well, what does that translate to? And what happens when you press down twice? Morph ball? Oh. Yes, you morph into a ball. It's a very descriptive thing. Yes, it is. It lets you know. And how about that one item in Meridia that no one can ever find? That makes you hop as a ball. Spring jump? Spring ball. Spring cleaning. It's hard. <laughs> if they're very descriptive names, you're not to see the problems. Yes. Alright, time to go for a uh, wave beam. Because I only just got a beam and I just don't like it. Oh no, hands. Well, can't you use them together? Yeah, I can. This is one of the good Metroid games that lets you do that. I'm thinking in the back of my head too as I'm doing this. It's like, I hope I'm not forgetting to go ahead and grab some items that I can get. Oh no, I must evade this slow moving lava. How am I doing it? Oh no, I did it. <laughs> oh, this fucking shutter. I hate that shutter. It's the worst place shutter. Because you don't see it right away, so it fucks you up. I like how I'm mashing the button so hard, everything around me is shaking.
All right, let's go grab some missiles and then the wave beam. Ah, balls! What? There's a minor mishap. Don't worry, I'm solving it. Why did I do that? <laughs> Job. By not doing your job. I can't see what you're doing. You just fell down from the shuttle, which I think I'm really behind you. That's what I keep doing. <laughs> okay, so. It's like the one thing I'm doing. <laughs> but don't worry, eventually I get it. I'm not even there yet, but <laughs> you know. Oh, I see what you did. You're playing back your, uh, your, your previous recording voice. You're just pretending to play. Maybe. Alright, so I got the wave beam now. I'm with a Jeff cut up with you, because, wow, there's no lag on mine right now. Awesome. Alright, so since I'm nearly dead, we have one of these very nicely placed recharge cocoon pew thingies. Why did I say pews? I don't know. What's going on um, with that? Did you slip? I don't think that was a slip. <laughs> I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> and you come out of this room if you take the back way through lower room there. I bet you didn't know that. Also, my nose is ruined. I knew it was around there somewhere. I like how I was reading this, uh thing about how awesome Super Metroid is, and it brought this room to attention, because it said something about how it's like really awesome, because it teaches you like the room, because you see the Shriek Bats hanging up at the top there, and all you have to do, but sorry, Screes, um, you see the Screes at the top there, and what you do is you go ahead and you fire your beam at it, and then you notice, oh hey, there's collapsible um, blocks there, so you can go through the top there, and it leads you over there. And then it brings this room into effect, saying, hey, you have to run across these bridges, and there's lava at the bottom, so you better be quick. And then you go into this room, you grab the speed booster, and then you go ahead, and you're about to come back, and what happens is, uh, you see the lava start rising, so what you do is you use your newfound ability, the speed booster, to dash your way back to the door, and you keep firing because you know there's an exit there, and then when you finally come out, you come to this little pod where there's these enemies, and you hit them with your speed booster, and you get all these items. Yeah, I didn't think it was that amazing either, because I thought it was just more of like common sense. You forgot an item. I did. Yeah, and the speed and the uh room after the what the one below the where the lava rises? No, no there is not. Thought there was. Nope. Just uh just before the speed booster room in that ceiling there. Which uh, no one ever knows. Whoa, hey, I did that tool assisted speedrun trick thingy. Or if you get hit and you press the opposite direction, you like fling yourself. That was unintentional, but that's to make up lost time. If you have all these opportunities to take credit for doing something amazing, then you tell me. Yeah, exactly. I, well, I gotta be truthful, because this is informative. Since I got the speed booster now, I could go to the wreck ship, but um, that would be unwise. 
So what I'm really gonna do is go for the ice beam. And then go for the grapple beam. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, but who knows if this plan will even go well. Hey! That's not nice, you stupid platform. <laughs> I just hop on it and then it's like, oh, I'm gonna sink. Okay. Yes! Now I have something that will be a mild inconvenience from time to time. Because I don't turn off beams. <laughs> I've never used Ice Beam when I played. You never used Ice Beam when you played? Well, when I played when I first played. Oh. Yeah, Ice Beam's only useful for Metroids, really, but, um, and bosses, because it gives you a 0. 0.5, uh, damage increase. Uh, see, I always get a Battle Kid Logic up, it doesn't kill them in one hit, so it's easy. Well, I know you missed one. So what? Oh wait, what? Why am I doing that? That's a bad idea. Because you always drop in the room after you get the ice. The speed booster. There's no items. You always drop them from the top. There's no items. Yeah, there's no items. All right, now this is gonna be tricky. Oh, this room. Yes, this room. But, you forgot who you're dealing with. No, I'm not going to up on this way. Yeah, I remember going through this room the other way too, and I was like, oh boy. And then I couldn't do it because I'm lame. I screwed that up. <laughs> yep, I screwed that up. There we go. Aha! Well. I swear it was an accident! Alright. So, should I fight Crocomire? With power bombs? Come back and do Krakomar once you've got once your hand too low in North America. We're coming back from the uh, I need to grapple beam. Oh. Trust me when I say Can't I you avoid grapple him? beam. I suck with the grapple beam, but I need it. Oh what the hell? I hit you with two! You motherfucker! That's right! Move! bad with horizontal shine sparking, so we'll see. Oh, looks like someone dropped out of the call. I'm here, I'm just waiting for a phone call. Oh. So I'm uh, I just wasn't... I'm a, I finally started phone. paying attention to the people. The people? You weren't before? Um, I don't think I was. I think I was just... Speaking aloud, and it just happened to fit with the conversation. <laughs> wow. I'm good like that. I'm not sure whether to be offended or not. <laughs> oh, I also updated my thread. Oh, good. In my silence. Um, this is... that it's... 
the first part of the two videos where I was insanely sleep deprived when I did the commentary, and it's probably really obvious. <laughs> like, I got an hour of sleep, and then Medibot and I did an hour of commentary on Mario is Missing. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Interesting is a word for it. Um, the most interesting video isn't yet. Um, posted yet, and that's the next one where it goes into really weird territory really fast. Uh, oh, oh, this I know video, what though, uh, I can't yeah, wait. This video, though, was um, the one where it got interrupted in the middle of recording. <laughs> you can't hear that part, I don't think. I wish that would happen more often with me. Like, people would just interrupt as I'm doing things, and then I could be like, oh, special guest star. My dad. <laughs> I always miss that missile pack for some reason when I play normally. Don't know why. It's an easy missile pack. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh no! No! I had it! I had it and I lost it. Let's try again. <laughs> it didn't even touch the wall! And that's how you do it, folks. Uh, after doing it the, um, four or so times I tried. Alright, I need to go back down there anyway, so might as well take this route. Success! Alright, now that I'm lame, I got the grapple beam. Hey, the grapple beam... <laughs> it ain't lame, most powerful weapon in the game. Kind of. It is pretty useful, actually. It just barely gets any use out of what it's used for. Because I can wall jump. <laughs> like, I just skipped the room with the only water in Norfair. <laughs> it's pretty much the uh, learning ground for the grapple beam. I also use the grapple beam really weird. So, I'm not sure if anyone else does it the way that I do it, but... But I will admit, I am kind of terrible with the grapple beam. No! <laughs> I swear, I'm good at this. Before you head to the wreck ship, you must get the X-ray visor. Okay. Okay, I'll follow your good advice. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Uh, the, uh, I'm trying to figure out, um, I know there's a missile pack around here somewhere. I'm just trying to remember where it is. So I can go for it. That's why you need the X-ray No, it's out in the open. I don't need the X-ray visor for it. Um, because it's below me. below me, technically. Uh, maybe I'll just come back for it. Because I, when I go to Lower North Fair, I'm going to have to go around here anyway. So yeah, Frick Ship. Um, boy, it sucks. 
such a small area. You get your final suit there. You only defeated two of the bosses. <laughs> Actually, should I just... Nah, actually, I'll wait until after our ship. No, it's a secret! I'm not telling you! Now to not use it to exit this room. Oh no, it was hard solving that puzzle. Yeah, you go, Samus, you spaz. That was... something. Yeah, I use the x-ray scope now. It's the one time you're gonna see it. Unless I keep holding down the run button. When I select my... gear. Time to get a few more power bombs. And then stop by my ship. My face ship. how you go through one of those um, Samus Eaters, quote-unquote. Like when you're a kid and looking at it, you're like, yeah, there's no way that will work. Because you come into this room and you're like, oh no, it's a trap room. They're just enemies. Oh no. And then you die. And then you feel like a idiot. But no, just the power bomb. You go through one of those. It's like, oh my god, I found more power bombs. They're so incredibly useful. 